hi guys welcome to this video about what you can do when you get this error message in microsoft word the error message is word could not create the work file check the temp environment variable um yeah the thing is it i had this message for for a long long time and i finally found the solution which worked today and this is what helped me so the thing is it's not super difficult but not super easy because we have to deal with the registry editor and but uh, luckily we don't have to make any changes there we, we just have to find some value and then maybe adapt a folder so uh, how to invoke the registry editor uh, we can just uh, click the Windows button and then start typing reg uh, edit reg edit and we click on that and say yes and then we get to the register editor to the uh, place where we have been uh, last time. So I'm already here where, where you may have to go but uh, I'm showing you how to get there. So here you get from the root, you have to invoke uh, the H key uh, current user, then go to software. So here we, we have that. I will put down the whole description into the, the, uh, the whole thing into the description. So, so you don't have to write it down. You can just copy paste. So go to the um, a current user software then down to Microsoft open that folder then uh, Windows then current version then Explorer um, and then the user shell folders and here there is a cache where do we have that cache so here we can see that and the value, uh, I mean the value uh, name is cache and the value data is inet cache. So we just copy that. So we have that. That's important uh, that we have that. Okay. So we can cancel. We don't have to change anything. If you don't want to search for that, I mean if you don't want uh, or if you can't find that, that's even an easier thing. You go in, in the registry editor, you go to edit and then there's a find and you paste or you type user shell folders and then click on find. But it will take quite some time, maybe a minute, five minutes, ten minutes based on how many data you have and how fast or slow your computer is just grab a coffee and when you come back you probably will be at exactly the position so you just can click on cache and see what value is stored in there and copy the value so we go now to the Explorer, we open an Explorer Windows, let's say with the Windows and the E key, e key at the same time, go to the address field and we paste whatever we have found in the value of this variable. And yeah, now we should get a folder. You can see that Microsoft Windows INET cache and it should contain another folder which is which has the uh, the name content dot word so this is the perfect situation which we can have uh, the thing is actually it is hidden so you can't see that here so it's a difficult thing to a little bit work with that but if you don't have it let's say uh, probably will uh, find something like this and then you have to make the new folder the the inet cache under the windows folder you just uh, press ctrl shift and new and you paste the 
here the INET cache content and press enter. So I'm not doing this because I already have this. And then you double click. Uh, yeah, when you have done it, it should be normal like uh, any any other uh, folder. You double click on that and you do the same thing for the uh, word word i mean content dot word uh yeah you do the same thing below the inet.cache going to this folder then again click shift control n yeah i don't know why it's not doing that yeah and then type content dot word the thing which we, we, you see here and then press enter and that should be it and then maybe best is to reboot and try if the problem is gone so you really need to have uh, the whole thing uh, the whole pass as it is in your uh, registry variable here in the cache thing so this thing i mean yeah you have to have here the whole pass uh, plus at the end you need a folder which has the name content dot word within the inet cache that's it and it solved the problem for me and i hope it will solve the problem also for you if you have it um yeah it looks like it solved the problem for most of the people but maybe not for everybody it would be really interesting to learn from you uh, if it solved the problem, please leave a uh, feedback uh, in the comment area below. And yeah, it would be really interesting to learn from you if it, uh, this thing was able to solve the solution, uh, the, the problem for you. So um, if you have any other problem, also let uh, leave a comment in the feedback area. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.